So today we are uh, trying to determine the gender of 50 blending turtles. If you wait until they show morphologically that they're male or female, that's when they're 20 years old. So we needed a way to, to determine their sex earlier on. Uh, coincident to my sort of exploring this, uh, Marion was hired here at ABC, and it turned out she had the skills and the equipment to use a laparoscope to determine sex. Uh, we have to go inside because all their gonads are inside. So what we do, we enter a little camera, an endoscope, inside their abdomen, and we look if it's a ovary or a testis, if it's a boy or a girl. So that started a collaboration that includes Acadia University, the Vet College, Parks Canada, the Toronto Zoo, and the Oakland Zoo in Nova Scotia. So it is a, it's a very nice and large collaboration. The researchers are coming to the ABC because uh, we have a specialized service uh, for exotic and wild animals and then we can provide this, the specialized service because it's not so easy to anesthetize a turtle and especially such a small turtle and when they're endangered there's only uh, 300 left in the wild you don't want to take any chance. The nice thing about a collaboration between two educational institutes is if you go in that lab you'll notice that it's packed to the gunnels with students. So it's an opportunity for ABC students to learn things, it's certainly an opportunity for my students to learn things, and it's a, an opportunity for those students to get to know each other. I actually went to Acadia University for my undergrad and got to do some sort of research there, not this research particularly, but it's really nice to work here and get to work with my, with my old university at the same time. And Dr. Demichelier has been really great in letting me uh, work on various research projects that, are, that she's working with, with a, with a bunch of different people, uh, Parks Canada, Fish and Wildlife here on PEI and Acadia University. I'm radio tracking um, some head starts that were released last summer, and I'm radio tracking these head starts once we release them next week week and uh, I'm going to be looking at if there are differences in their habitat use and their growth compared to wild juvenile turtles that were grown up in the wild. At the uh, Zoo Exotic and uh, Wildlife Medicine Service in, here at the ABC, uh, we treat all kinds of patients, basically anything that lives in the house and uh, is not a cat or a dog can be treated by us, uh, but also any wild animal that are injured or orphaned or displaced, we can take care of them, uh, marine mammals too, and of course uh, zoo animals. So we work with the Magneticale Zoo in Moncton um, uh, to take care of uh, some of their very special those very special patients. I feel really lucky to have gotten this summer job. I'm getting so much experience and everyone's so knowledgeable and so helpful. It's, it's really great working here. After they recover today, uh, we'll take them back to Nova Scotia and we'll hold them until Tuesday just to make sure that there's no post-operative problems. And then on Tuesday, a group of us will move up to the park at Kedjim Kudjik and we'll process them in terms of making sure their notches are fresh so that they're identifiable. Um, we'll weigh them, measure them, and then we'll release them to the area where they were collected from. <laughs>